Okay, everybody, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to build this 12 by 12 floating dock with a four by eight gangway. Stay tuned till the end and I'll give you some bonus footage and I'll show you how to uh, anchor it in my traditional way. So the first thing that we're gonna do is I'm going to take these two by eights by 12s and I'm gonna cut them down to their specific desired lengths. So the first ones that I'm gonna cut are the, the 12 foot ones, 144 inches. The reason why I'm doing that first, I'm gonna pick out the two nicest faces on them and those will be my front and, and back pieces. Uh, so those will be first, those are the ones I'm gonna put all the measurements on and then after that I'll cut the other ones at 144 inches and 144 and three quarter inches. Alright, now that I have these cut to length, I'm going to see the nice end, find the nice side of it, flip them over because I'm going to make my marks on the back. So those are the end pieces here, inch and a half in, because the joist is gonna lean up against that. 21 and a half inch gap on this side with the joist going on the opposite side of that line. Same thing over here. It's gonna end up being 23 inches from this line to this line, which will give you a 21 and a half inch gap to here. Same thing on the opposite side. Inch and a half in. 23 down to this mark. It'll be 46 down to this mark. Now, this line here, right there, is the center mark. That's six feet. Ten and a half inches. I'm sorry, ten and three quarter inches to this side. 10 and three quarter inches to this side, straight line down, and the joist is gonna go on the opposite side here, which will give you that 21 and a half inch gap. So all in all, we're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight joists. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these corner braces here, they're seven inch Z-Max corner braces. I'm gonna put them up against this line here on e each side. And do one here. And do one here. Nail those in. Same down at the other end over there. Because the when these are flipped up, the joists are gonna nail into here. It's gonna keep it nice and straight and sturdy. two end pieces. Now I've got these corner braces nailed on there with those Tico nails, inch and a half Tico nails. Same thing on the other side. It's going to be the front piece. This is going to be the back piece or vice versa. It doesn't matter. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut them, cut the rest of the joists, the eight joists at 144 and three quarters. And they're going to go here, next line here, here, there's gonna be eight of them. After that, we gotta square the whole thing up with a couple of the deck boards, flip it, and then I'll put the barrels in from underneath there. All right, so those are the first four cut. I'm gonna go bring them over and lay them out. Um, obviously, when you're looking at the side pieces too, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you take the nicest side 
for the ones that are, that are exposed. The other ones don't really, doesn't matter. Now I'm gonna mark out and cut my last four joints. Now that I have all my joists laid out relatively close to where they're going to be, uh, what I like to do now is I like to preset my screws for the joists for when you're going to secure them. And the way that we do this is on each one, that's it, each one of these right here where the X is, right, that's where the two by eight's gonna go. So what I do is I take my square here, make myself a line across here. Then on the other side, I'm gonna go over three quarters of an inch to here, draw a line down, and that's where my screws are gonna go. I'm gonna do that for every one of them. start four three and a half inch deck screws in each along each line just going to start them for now i'm not going to secure them until uh they're all started I'm just going to get prepped and ready to go All right, so now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to lay out all of my joist hangers and I'm going to attach the joists to the, uh, to the front and the back. Also, don't forget you wanna keep a nice face of the side two by eights facing out. I also like to use this pry bar to help me keep them up and level. All right, all done screwing those boards in. As you can see, nice side on the one side, nice face on the other over there as well. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to all these joist hangers same over here all these joist hangers are going to get nailed in nailed in over here right you can see there on the edge there it's nice straight right along the line top nice and flush this is going to be the top of the deck so i'm going to nail those all in with the inch and a half joist hanger and down uh, putting all the joist hangers in you can see here, nice and snug in there. All right, so the next step, we're gonna need nine of these 12 foot deck boards. And what we're gonna do with them is this. We're gonna start at the one end here, make it perfectly square on the end right there lay it all the way down get across and then what we're going to do is we're going to mark see that little mark here that mark there with the square we're going to do it on the inside all the way down here make a line and down here make a line on the side we're going to do that for all nine of the boards Last one. Yeah. Line right here. Nice and close. Let's make a line. We're going to do that for all nine. Once you have all those boards marked out, what you're going to do is you're going to take two barrels. You can put four in there if you want. And you're going to kind of line them up in the one row the way that they're going to sit. Where they are now. This is actually going to be the decking 
but they're going to be attached from underneath once we flip this whole thing over. So from here, what you're going to do is you're going to mark, starting down here, you're going to mark 71 inches down. Okay, so it's going to be 71 here. And you're going to do that for each joist, each joist 71 inches down. Once you're done with that, when you're done marking each joist 71 inches down, you're going to go back, you're going to mark each one over here. You're going to mark it at one foot, two feet, four feet, five feet, seven, eight, ten, and eleven feet. You're going to do that for each one. So it's one, two, four, five, seven, eight, ten, eleven. One, two, four, five, seven, eight, ten, eleven. For each one. The next step is going to be trying to square this dock up. And we're going to do it like so. You're going to take nine of these boards, nine of these deck boards. You're going to go back to that original 71 inch mark that we made from, uh, from the right side. It's the 71 inch mark, which would be right there. Okay? take this board come all the way down you're gonna start at this end here so I don't know if you can see this but what we have here is we have our mark on the inside of this two of this two by eight we also have our mark here for the 71 inches so we want to make sure this mark and this mark line up, okay? We'll put our two screws in here and we'll kind of work our way down and make this thing square. So, from right here, you'll see the same thing. You go down to the next board, you have the 71 inch mark, this board is on, and then you have the uh, mark that we made from the end. It's going to make this a squared okay we're going to keep going all the way down and securing it with two that's going to square all these up keep going all the way down right same everything's the same got that 71 inch mark here got that other mark on the side there all the way down all the way down to the end okay so that's going to square that one up then, now that you have this in the middle, then you're going to start on the next one over here. Pretty close to the middle if you can. After you do this next one and the one down here, it's pretty much going to straighten itself out and be pretty good and pretty square. So I would start at the two foot one right here, two foot mark. Same thing, starting down at that end, putting your first two... Uh, screws in, working your way down, making sure that those line up the same way that they do here. Okay, like that. And we'll come down here. We'll do it on the 10-foot uh, mark as well, which will be the second to the last one. And then fill in the rest after that. So once you're done screwing all these boards down, the reason why we do this is because when you flip the boards over, or flip this whole dock over, and you gotta put the barrels in, 
it's not going to let the barrels pop through uh, to the other side. So this is the start of the top of the decking. We're going to flip it over. But before we do that, what we have to do is we got to anchor the dock hardware onto this backside because that's going to uh, attach to the gangway like you see over there. So how you do that is like this. It's 12 feet wide, so you go to the center, which is 6 feet, and it's going to be 45 inches uh, on center. So basically it'll be 22 and a half inches either side of center, which comes out to 49 and a half inches from either side. So what you do is this. Take your, go from your right side, 49 and a half, draw a line down. Same thing on the other side, 49 and a half. You're gonna draw a line straight down. Then you're gonna come down one inch from the top, and draw a line across like that. So it's going to give you 45 inches between here and right there, okay? And the dock hardware is this. It goes together like this. It has the pin on the inside as well. Uh, the pin's here. Took it out for uh, purposes of measuring things up. So you're going to do is you're going to take one of these right in the corner here you're going to line it up like that and then you're going to mark the centers each one of those drill the holes through and then attach it and i'll show you what it looks like when you get back so this is what the final product should look like with the anchoring hardware so it's going to be 45 inches from that end to that end, right there. Uh, one inch down from the top. You're secured with half inch by three inch galvanized lag bolts. Washers on either side. Now it's time for the flip of the platform of the dock. If you're lucky enough to know somebody who's got a tractor, it makes this a little bit easier. All right, so now I'm gonna be on to making the cuts for the gangway. We're gonna be cutting out two pieces at uh, 48 inches long, two eight foot pieces, and then two more at 45 inches long for the uh, for the center. So we're going to cut that same thing. Make sure that the outside pieces are the nicest ones. Everything else is going to be underneath, so it doesn't really matter. So we'll cut those um, and put it together. All right, now what we have to do is take those two four foot pieces and you want to put those corner braces on like we did on the main section of the dock. And there's a specific way that you're going to have to do them and I'll show you. Now with these corner braces, there are two ways that you can put them. You can put them like that, like so, or 
you could have them like this. Right? But these must be put this way. And the reason being it's going to be the dock hardware. The dock hardware on the gangway is going to screw in from the other side because this is going to be the back. And the bolts are going to come through in this spot and in this spot based on how the measurements go. So if you put it this way, you would hit right into the metal. We don't want that. Obviously we want to avoid the metal at all costs, which is why all of them need to go in exactly the way that they are. Now that I got all those screws started, I'm going to attach those to the eight foot pieces. So these are going to be nailed or screwed in place and then Tico bracket nailed in just like the other ones. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to take those two 45 pieces that you had previously cut, you're going to put them in there toward the middle. You're going to measure in from the inside seven inches here and then seven and three quarters on the outside is where you're going to start your screws. Okay, you're going to do that for each side. So seven inches in, another three quarters with your line down. Same thing over here, seven inches, seven and three quarters down. Same thing at the end. And then you're going to attach these boards across. You're also gonna use your uh, joist hangers for this as well. Alright, so now I decided that this is how I'm going to do the barrel setup uh, for this gangway. It's going to be four barrels, just like that. I'm going to put one board right here. It's going to be 35 inches from the top of the barrel to the bottom. One board there, and two on the sides here. Okay, now we have the, uh, the gangway platform all set up here. So, as you can see, there's going to be a barrel that goes in there, a barrel goes in there, a barrel this way, and here, and here as well. So, what I did from the last part of the video is cut one piece, here at 45 inches. This one here, 40, uh, 45 inches across, came down 35 inches. Nailed that in with the, the joist hangers. Then on center from here, there's a 35 inch gap in between here, two 45 and a half inch pieces goes down here. And then right in the center, another 35 piece, to, 35 inch piece to separate these two. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is I have to put the dock hardware in on the opposite side. Dock hardware is going to go in exactly the same way as it did on the main platform. It's going to be 45 inches on center. Sorry, 45 inches from end to end. So it's a 48 inch piece. So you just go an inch and a half on one side, inch and a half on the other. I'm gonna come down one inch from the top, across here, put the um, dock hardware on there, mark your holes, and you're gonna drill them through. Gangway hardware is installed. 
I'm gonna show you here. You see in the corner there, where that corner brace is? That's why it's important to make sure your corner braces are attached the right way because as you can see, this bolt came right through the middle here and here in that little opening. If you have it opposite, you're never gonna be able to get it to, to poke through. So now that this is done, what I'm gonna do next, as you can see I already did, cut out the four foot lengths for the gangway and then I'll pre-drill my holes on the ends and then I'll just deck the top. The barrels that I use for these docks are 55 gallon drums with the two bungs. Uh, inside of it was food grade material uh, prior to it being emptied. So what I do is I just wash them out uh, with some water. Usually only one side of the bung is open. So I'll clean it out. I'll put a nice bead of silicone around the end here. Put it in, use a bung wrench to tighten it down. And then what will happen is you'll get a bunch of squeeze out like this. And that way you know that you have enough silicone in there. Next what I'll do is there's a little indentation in here. It's a real thin piece of plastic here. So I'll just go ahead and fill that up with silicone around here. And then on the other side, there's already a, a seal on there. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just fill underneath it with silicone as well and it'll come out looking like that, and then they're ready to go. All right, now that I have the platform, the gangway, decked and flipped over, now I'm gonna start attaching the barrels. I'm gonna do so using inch and a quarter screws, some galvanized fender washers, and some nylon strapping. It's gonna go over both barrels right over top of both barrels, and it's going to get uh, attached to the joists. One thing you want to make sure that you're aware of when you're putting, strapping the barrels in, is you want to make sure that these bungs are parallel. Um, and you, you don't want the bungs to be resting in the water, or else uh, there's a better chance of you getting water inside the barrels, which is what we don't want. So if you keep them parallel like this, then the top part of the barrel will rest in the water and there shouldn't be any water getting into your bones. All right, so this is gonna be the finished product for the gangway. As you can see, the line with the bungs are parallel. This is eventually gonna get flipped into the water and that's what's gonna float. Do two straps in each barrel. See here we have the fender washers and the inch and a quarter screws. And we're gonna want these to be very tight. See, we want them to be very tight. Don't, don't make them loose, it's gonna help keep them in. Once you're done with this, we're gonna go on to putting the barrels on the main platform itself. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do, you're gonna to wanna to rip down six boards. It's gonna be inch and a half wide, 48 inches long. These are gonna be the spacers that's gonna really block in and tighten up your, uh, your barrels. I'll show you what they're gonna kinda of look like. So here's the first two barrels. Inside, as you can see, parallel, the, the bungs are parallel, nice and tight, strapped down. And then that back piece goes there, locks it right in. So these things are, are not gonna move or not gonna come out at all. So now it's just doing all the other barrels. We're gonna have eight here eight on the other side and in the middle we're going to keep it open but we'll put some blocking just in case you want to put some extra barrels in there
All right, now we have all the barrels in place. It's gonna be ready to flip and then deck. So here are the barrels. Two rows of eight. Two straps each. Fender washers, nylon straps there. I like to do top of the barrel, two bottoms together, two tops, two bottoms, and then the base. Again, remember, very important, keep those things straight because when they flip in the water, you don't want them getting water in them. This is the middle section here. There is some blocking. Put some extra barrels in there if you want, but they're really not necessary. Next up will be the flip. Everything's hooked up. Next thing we have to do is just deck the main plate. All right, now that everything's decked, there's two more things that I like to do just to finish it up before I put it in its final resting place. Is first thing I like to do is on the end here, you're gonna have a bit of an overhang. So I'll just snap a chalk line all the way down, cut the ends off so they're nice and even. Then I'll just take a, uh, a palm sander and I'll hit the edges of the whole platform and the edge of the gangway here uh, with the sander just to roll over the edges. It makes it look nice. Um, as you can see right here, I attached these, um, the hardware. What's gonna happen is you're gonna have a, basically like a fence post go down. It's got an auger bit on the end I'm gonna sink that into the mud in its uh, final spot how I uh, put that in is I went 28 and a half inches from the end down to that line went up uh, one inch from the bottom and then just secured it the same way that I did the other dock hardware and we'll get back to that once this is in its final spot. Dock is in its final position. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to screw these poles basically into the lake bed here. How I'm gonna do that, it's like this. And this auger end right here that's going to go through here and connect inside. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide this pole here. Down through that slot. Come up from underneath with the auger, uh, with the auger end, screw it in. Once I'm done with that, I'm gonna attach this auger wrench like I did on this side and screw it down until it doesn't go down any longer. And at that point, the dock should be secure. It'll allow for the change in the lake levels. So as the lake rises, it should come up. And as the lake level falls, it should come down. What I did forget to mention on that last take, that last portion of the video, is that you need to drill a hole through this fence post three quarters of an inch up from the bottom and it's a three ace hole all the way through that will attach that auger now that both of the support poles are in I just measured up 42 inches from the base of the gangway up cut them off even and capped them then just for a little added support, it's kind of a fail safe. 
poked a hole through uh, this end of the gangway. Secured it over here to the tree. Same thing on the other side. Just in case these poles give way, the dock won't go floating down the, uh, the rest of the lake. So that's it. For the bonus footage, I want to show you how I traditionally anchor the gangway to shore. How I do it is I take two four by six posts. So they're 45 inches apart from end to end. That'll line up with the dock hardware on the gangway there. So two four by six posts, 45 inches apart. I take uh, some sonnet tubes, dig down 48 inches, put a 10 inch sonnet tube in, take the posts, put them in, uh, square them up, make sure that they are level and square, put the concrete in, let that set. Once that's set, I take the whole dock and gangway and I will attach it to the posts. I level out the, the gangway um, where the water is at like its normal level, level it out, um, and then attach the, the dock hardware to the post and to the gangway. The other thing that I like to do is I only use two barrels on the front with the gangway. I don't have any barrels um, toward the, the post itself. Because what happens is, is, as the water level rises, the platform itself stays nice and uh, level with the water. The gangway almost becomes like a ramp. So it, it goes up and the, uh, the barrels themselves there, they, they'll float right up, but it'll almost make like a ramp as the water levels uh, go up. So that's how I traditionally anchor the, the gangway. I hope you guys liked the the full build and if you did leave some comments below thanks